So this is the homepage. And I asked Rick to just put on a recent video to switch us about once a week. And this is Dr. Georgia E., the Harvard professor that has been doing research that nutrition affects the brain very, very significantly. If our brain is insulin resistant, as Ben Bickman would tell us, then we could have dementia, we could have depression, we can have bipolar, all sorts of issues. And so she treats her patients with nutrition as well as medications. Hey, That's Dwight, right. I don't think uh, this is on the vegan website. Plants may be trying to kill you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on the home page, you can go up to the top menus. Uh, let's go down. You have these doctors. So these are the doctors that I personally trust because they meet those criteria using randomized control studies or their own clinical research and not taking suspicious funding. Ben Beckman is the number one guy, over 100 videos. These are kind of in the order of their most recent publication. Uh, and these are pulled directly from the YouTube channel that I, it's the same name, Doctors to Trust. So if you go into YouTube, go to Doctors to Trust, you'll see all these same videos. Decide if you want to pick one and you open it and you can view it. Uh, this is a fairly recent one. You can see that it's got juvenile delinquents on the. <laughs> Amen to that. And there are other doctors uh, like Georgia E, Jason Fung, very, very trustworthy, uh, Can another Canadian. But if they're uh, funded by the some uh, drug company or their university is uh, restricting the type of research they do, they, it won't publish what they actually find, like happens so often. But I do check it out. If they're talking about survey research that could be interpreted various ways, I just don't include that. And as long as they're open and they share their research, so you can ch check it yourself. I mean, I'm guessing in your use of the word doctor here, you're not just suggesting a medically trained and licensed doctor, but also anyone who's spreading truth about health. Yeah, that's how we're using the word. So, so Don Lehman is not a medical doctor. He's a researcher. Uh, I think it's at Illinois University. Judy Cho is a nutritionist. Yeah, Ivor is a engineer. Cynthia Monteleone is in Hawaii. She's a Native American sprinter, world-class sprinter. She has her own clientele, nutritionist, basically. It just was simpler to say doctors instead of doctors slash researchers. Ben Beckman's not a medical doctor, but he's obviously a doctor in his yeah. case. Um, someone I might have also been Dennis said, I love how straightforward the website is. It's so easy to navigate. So great questions so far. Here we go to topics now. So there's bone health, brain health, cancer. But recently, the last two weeks, I've been doing a lot on cancer. And it's just amazing how metabolism, diet, and lifestyle affect cancer much, much more than genetics. So this is one of the topics. And uh, as you can see, it's you just scroll down. There's 10 more. Uh, to me, protein, so keeping insulin low, which protein allows you to intermittent fast more easily, right? Protein allows you to live longer because it builds your muscle and your bones, which are your two probably most important organs of your body. Uh, so I wanted to have its own uh, section and you can see there's 66 more. So there's a lot of protein stuff here, which I think is, is critical. Uh, reproductive health, seed oils, uh, native foods and culture, This is probably too specific as well. Left ventricle diastolic dysfunction, grade one. Um, heart disease, is that? Okay, so again, I don't remember that specific issue. Uh, we do have some heart people. Robert Siwas is a heart surgeon, I believe. Uh, Nadir Ali. So here it looks like there's seven pages of about seven or eight per page. So around 50 videos on heart. So that's not very specific. You could uh, narrow it down like a disease gets it down, that cuts it in half. Yeah. So Nadir Ali would be a great resource for that. In my yeah, he is great. Right okay. So that's the search. And uh, so that's how it works. You simply click the, uh, my, uh, the magnifying glass, come over here, type in. Uh, the, the nice thing about the search is, like I said earlier, if you just remember a quote or if you when a search by a location or a topic or a disease or a person or a story. 
So that's the search. Uh, highlighted videos, we have a weekly newsletter and we always have the latest video series, usually four or five in a row, and a classic from a couple years ago, and then an infographic. Well, so all those videos go here under highlighted videos. You get the beginnings of the description. So for example, if we go to, let's go to Paul Saladino, we click read more, we can click the video and watch the video while we read. And this is all the text from the video itself, not what he says, it's not the transcript. You can get that from Google. So these are the key points that he makes in he's interviewing Evan Brand, who I've been working with now. He's a great uh, therapist on microtoxins and other things that you might have in your body from over the years of pollution and mold and stuff. Well, he interviewed him. These are the key points that were made by the discussion. You can select, you know, copy and paste. So if you're working with a client, you don't want to overwhelm the client with even with a four minute video, you can go to here. It says PDF and you get uh, a one, it's usually a one or two page PDF of that without the video. You have done a lot of work. Uh, I don't think people realize how much time it takes to to create all the back end content, not just to cut down videos, but then to, you know, have these simplified summaries and stuff is that's a lot of work. Yeah, I've tried to get my system down so I can do the four minute video in about two hours. I just figure if you're going to have the video, you need all this other stuff. Otherwise, it's simply not as useful. Infographics, for example, this one. Guess which meal is best for a world class weightlifter in training? Well, what do you think your trainer would tell you, your personal trainer? They'd probably say, well, broccoli, cauliflower, chicken, looks great, right? High protein, low fat, good uh, plant protein. But really what our doctors would say is no, get a steak, put some butter on it. That's your best recovery meal. It's your best uh, nutrition for athletes, for weightlifters, for even for bodybuilders. I thought, well, the U.S. government, we don't trust their pyramid. Here's what's happened since it came out. And these are all obesity numbers for different countries. So it's another way to look at the pyramid. This is becoming an epidemic teenage uh, fatty liver disease. So it's just a reminder to parents, if your teen is a little bit oversized tummy, you better check it out because it becomes harder and harder over time to get rid of the adipose tissue. So it looks like you've created a lot of content, like you mentioned earlier, for other practitioners, for other groups to be using, not just for individuals. Those little infographics are terrific. It seems to me like all of these people are out there putting their name in front of the public to share these messages. And you're just helping to facilitate that, which I can imagine would be a good thing for all of them. So it's neat that you're interviewing a lot of them, too. They know what you're doing. Trisha said, thank you, everyone. Today's guest is super duper indeed. It's wonderful that as good as Insulin IQ folks are, they extend their circle to include other wonderful experts. Um, cheers. Thanks, Trisha. Of course. Like, That's awesome. We're, we're here about finding truth and, and helping spread the message to help people with their health. And whoever wants to spread it with us, we want them on board, of course. 